friends, my name is Sarah and today we are talking about what's on my bookshelf. No, this is not a bookshelf tour, though I can promise that one of those is coming in the very near future. But today, we are actually going to talk about the statistics of the books I have on my shelves. If you've watched any of my wrap-ups over the last several months, you know that I track statistics for the books that I read. And I track a ton of different things, including everything from the genre and the audience to the publication date and the page number and the diversity of protagonists and settings and just a ton of different things. And I don't track near nearly that many categories for the books that I own, but I have an inventory spreadsheet of everything that I own that, like many readers I'm sure, includes the title and the author. In addition to the title and the author, there are also seven other categories about my books that I track on that particular spreadsheet. Those seven categories include the book type, the audience, the author gender, whether or not the book is a series or a standalone, the status of it, the category, and the genre. So today I'm going to break down all of those statistics for you to give you a sort of big picture look at the books that I keep on these shelves. In total, at the moment, I own 307 books. The vast majority of those books live on these three shelves that you see behind me, but I also have a shelf up in my bedroom, I have a shelf in my office, and I also just stack books in random spots around my house for the purposes of decor. 44% of the books I own are paperback, 56% of them are hardback, and 0% of them are arcs, which really just means that I only have one arc at the moment, which is Gemini right there. For the audience, 60% of them are for an adult audience, 13% of them are for a young adult audience, and 27% of them are for a children or middle grade audience, which if you follow my videos for a while, you know that makes a fair amount of sense because I do read pretty diversely, but very much lean toward the adult audience when it comes to the books that I choose to read. 29% of the books I own were written by men, 69% were written by women, and 2% of them were written by authors of both genders. When it comes to series and standalone, it's a somewhat even split with 45% of the books I own being part of a series and 55% of them being standalones. For the status, at the moment, 91% of the books on my shelves have been read, with 74% of them being read once and 17% of them being reread. 8% of the books are currently unread and I am in the middle of reading 1% of my books. For the category of books, this should come as no surprise that 73% of them are fiction and 27% of them are nonfiction, which is pretty reflective of my reading habits from year to year. I tend to read about 25% nonfiction and about 75% fiction and my bookshelves reflect that as well. When it comes to the genre breakdown, that is where things get a little bit crazy. I track a smaller number of genres when it comes to my reading from year to year, but I really break things down on my actual shelves. And part of that is because I organize my books by genre. And so I like to group things together in a similar fashion. And so I track somewhere around 18 or 20 different genres of books on my shelves. Because of the fact that I break things down so specifically and I read such a wide range of books, some of these percentages are pretty small. There are five different genre categories that each comprise 1% of my books. Those include business and career, home decor and organization, magical realism, relationships, and short stories and poetry. 2% of my books are drama and 2% of my books are dystopian. 3% of them are about creativity, 3% of them are memoir or biography, and 3% of them are science fiction. 5% of them are contemporary, 5% of them are literary fiction, 6% are about theology and spiritual growth, and 7% are about general Christian life. 8% of my books are fantasy, largely because of my Harry Potter collection. 9% of my books are classics and getting into two of my favorite genres. 15% of my books are historical fiction and a whopping 22% of my books are mystery and thriller, though I will be fully honest and say that that number is only because I own the entire Nancy Drew series, which is 56 books. Well, there you have it, friends. That is the statistical breakdown of all the books I currently have on my shelves. If you track anything like this for the books that you own, I would love to hear about it. Or if you just have sort of a general idea of the genres that you own most or the type of books, be it fiction or nonfiction, I would love to hear a little bit about some of the statistics of your bookshelves. 
As a friendly reminder, my one year booktube anniversary Q&A and giveaway is open until 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today. So keep asking questions and the giveaway winner will be announced in that Q&A video when it goes up later this week. If you want to follow me elsewhere online, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads, all at Sarah Ann Hayes. The links for those profiles will be in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye! Hello friends, my name is Sarah and today we are talking about those seven categories that eat categories. Well there you have it friends. That